The largest news team on local television. The combined resources of KCOY 12, Central Coast Local News, and KEYT News Channel 3. Your news starts now. Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. Welcome to this joint edition of KEYT News Channel 3 and KCOY 12 Central Coast News. Some of the hardest working employees this New Year's Day holiday are farmers. They're preparing for what could be one of the wettest patterns we've seen in a while. Melissa Newman joins us live at Arroyo Grande. And Melissa, you visited the Ikenna Brothers Farm today. That's right, Beth, and no one is more excited for rain than farmers, but they say they have tons of work to do before they can enjoy knowing that their crops are staying hydrated. If you drove down Highway 1 near Royal Grande on Monday, you probably saw this. Dozens of farm workers all working together to get as much done as possible before it rains. Yes. No, pues. It's um, all, year, all year long. This is a slow season right now, but all year long, there's a lot of work and putting more than eight hours a day, right? Ten hours, ten, ten and a half. These workers are installing new irrigation at one of the Iketa brothers' ranches. Come summer, these little seedlings will start to look like this. Fresh baby bok choy for customers to enjoy. While some people spent the day with their families, these workers are putting extra hours in because once the rain hits, the work will stop due to muddy conditions. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's normal. It's, it's not to get tired or exhausted so once in a while. But we still, it's, we, you get used to it. Fernando Chavez says it's all worth it, though, as he's done this job for decades. He has uh, 40 years working for this company, and he's uh, his his favorite things to do um, it's irrigation. That's what, that's what that would be his favorite thing to do. Told that numerous businesses are working together to get everything done before the expected rain on Wednesday. Just a few moments ago, a truck left that was spraying these fields for pesticides. So they're continuing to work even when it gets dark. Reporting live in Arroyo Grande, I'm Melissa Newman.